Hey what's going on guys, welcome back to another Photopea tutorial, and this one I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Twitch emote in Photopea really easily and fast. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do as always is open a new project. So click new project. The dimensions for this is going to be 112 by 112. Those are the dimensions for a Twitch emote. Name it whatever you'd like and hit create. Okay, so for this emote, I'm just gonna find a random picture. So I found one of a cat, right? And I'm going to crop this cat out and put some text over it. So I'm gonna copy that, bring it back into photo P, hit control V. And now you can see it's a little too big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to edit, free transform, hold shift while you drag it to shrink it. And I'm just going to fit it to the size. So now go to your zoom tool over here, hold left click and drag so you can zoom in. I know it looks pixelated, but don't worry. It's going to be so small that you won't even see the pixels whenever it's on your Twitch or whatever. So now what we're going to do is we're going to crop out this cat. So we're going to do that by going over here to the lasso tool, right click on it, go to polygonal. So now every time you click, it'll add a new point. So just click all the way around the entire cat, like I'm doing here. If you mess up, hit delete on your keyboard and it'll go back the last step. Do not hit control Z on this one because it will make you restart. So I've done that many times. So I'm just going around the entire cat. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, I'm getting closer to the end. Now connect it back to the start and you'll see that there is a dotted outline around this cat. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit control C and control V to paste a new layer, but this time without the background. So delete the original layer and now we have no background on it. You just want to hide your background layer by clicking the little I and now you could see some checkerboard. That means it's transparent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add some text. So here's the text tool over here. You can click anywhere on your canvas and you can put like, wow, I'm just going to put wow because that looks like the reaction of the cat. So let me drag this layer to the top. And I mean, honestly, I think it fits pretty well. I'm going to change the font to lemon milk. Change the color to like white. And I'm going to double click on that text layer. Maybe add a stroke. Yeah, like that. And then maybe if you want to like rotate it like the head is, you could just go up to edit, transform, rotate. You can rotate it. So this is kind of like a Twitch emote, I guess. I don't really know. I haven't ever made one, but this is something you would do for the Twitch emote. You have to make sure it's transparent in the background or else it won't work. And it also has to be 112 by 112 dimensions. So now when you're done, you just want to go up to file, export as, and a PNG. Now make sure the quality is at 100% and hit save. Now it is saved to your download folder, so that's where you'll find this file. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.